Meghan Markle sends powerful sacred message with outfit during Tan's final royal outing. Meghan Markle wore a bright green outfit to the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey in 2020, which was the last time she and Prince Harry were walking royals. During the final ever royal engagement, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry carried out their duties in tough circumstances. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex came together with the rest of the royal family come together to celebrate the Commonwealth and to honor the late Queen. It would be the last time we would see them as walking royals and the pair did not attend this year's ceremony, which was the first for new monarch King Charles. The theme for 2023 was forging a sustainable and peaceful common future, which comes at a time of great upheaval in the fur after Harry's revelations in memoir spare and the Sussexes being forced to leave Frogmore College. The annual ceremony is one of the rare occasions where all senior royals joined together for a grand service at Westminster Abbey and there was a lot of tension in the air back in 2020. Just weeks before the big event, Harry and Meghan made a bombshell announcement they would be quitting, you know, as senior royals and leaving the UK. Meghan memorably wore a vibrant green Amelia Wicks kid cape dress for the service that started blowing in the wind as she left the Abbey. According to Kristen Ross, the editor of the blog Meghan's Mirror, the Duchess of Sussex used the dress to send a secret but powerful message. She believed that it was a clear signal to the designer and to the people who claimed the two women had a complicated relationship. Speaking previously in the Mirror's Royal Podcast pod Save the Queen, she said, One of the most iconic looks is going to be her green Amelia Wicks skirt cape dress. The cape blowing in the wind as she walked into the church and then walked out of the church, which was such an emotional moment for so many people as it was the last formal engagement as royals. That green dress will stand out in history books, I think. Kristen then went on to explain the complicated story between Meghan and um, Wickstead, which came from an interview the designer did with a magazine. She said the Wickstead's described Meghan's wedding dress as simple and taken out of context in other reports left many believing she was criticizing the dress. It was a poor quote from a larger interview. She really didn't say anything negative, she, she explained. People th thought Emilia Wickstead was really wrong, actually wrong Megan, and it turned out that Emilia Wickstead hadn't wrong Megan. It was a poor quote. Maybe a month or so later, Megan actually wore a custom Emilia Wickstead dress, and that situation shows the power of Megan's fashion choices. She was able to say with his this fashion choice, Emilia Wickstead, that I are, uh, you know, we are all great. We are on great terms. The whole thing was a huge misunderstanding. And I look at a lovely dress she designed for me. There was drama on that day as it was reported that Meghan Markle and Harry were quite sensitive and emotional about not entering the Abbey with the main party. This reportedly led to William and Kate not walking in the procession in an attempt to resolve the issue despite the orders of service stating, stating otherwise.